action. So, we have a sensible heat effects. So, pag sinabi natin sensible heat, so that is, uh, there is no, uh, there is a change in temperature. So, no, there is no phase change here in sensible heat. So, example is water from 0 to 100. So, from 0 to 10, that is sensible heat. Although, in our, uh, yung mga una nating uh, pag-aaral, we have our sensible heat, MCPDT. That is, Q is MCPDT, so there is a change in temperature. Pero, yung ginagamit nating heat capacity ay constant. So, pero dito, uh, kinoconsider natin na ang CP ng isang... Uh, compounds or element ay dependent sa temperature. So, sabi dito, sensible heat refers to the heat transferred by the system in which there is no phase transition, no chemical reaction, and no change in composition causes by the temperature to change. And this temperature change can come from the absorption of sunlight by the system itself or it can come from the contact with the warmer body caused by release of latent heat or by direct conduction. This heat effect is called the sensible heat because we can sense the heat as the temperature changes. So, yan nga yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, no, transi no phase transition. There is no chemical reaction because in chemical reaction, it's either you are adding or uh, evolving heat on that chemical reaction. So, there is no changes in composition. So, ang nangyayari lang is, nag-change lang yung temperature ng body. It's either we're going to release heat or absorb heat by the change in temperature. So, ito yung ating last time, ang pagagawaan or... Uh, by using uh, Gagenheim scheme, so, alam naman natin yon, so, babalikan pa rin natin, and sabi dito, the molar internal energy of the substance is exp expressed as the function of two other state function according to the phase rule. So, dito, makikita natin na yung U is a function of the temperature and volume. So, kung gagawin natin siya ng partial derivative, so, that is DU is equal to the Partial of U, internal energy, uh, over partial of temperature at constant, volume, times the derivative of temperature plus du dB at constant temperature times dB. So, since yung ating du dt, constant B, that is Cb, or at constant volume. So, C, heat capacity at constant volume. So, pag atin siyang... Kin substitute so magiging siyang CBDT plus DU, DB at constant temperature, TB. So, ito ay for constant volume, kaya siya ay internal energy. So, the final term has set to be zero. It's either the possible cases. So, kung makikita natin, so, kung constant volume, so, since CB siya, so, pag constant volume, automatic, ikakancel out natin yung last term. So, dB, so since this is a isochoric process, so, constant volume, so, mangyayari na lang, du is equals to CB dt. So, isochoric siya and independent to volume. So, the, so, for constant volume process of ideal gases, ito na siya, du is CB dt. So, since, um, sabi natin, yung ating delta U is a function of temperature, yung CB natin. So, from C1 to, uh, from T1 to T2, CB dt. So, since si CB natin, maybe, or can be at, con at, maybe it is constant in our last topic, but in here, CB is a function also of temperature. So, for here, so the molar enthalpy of may be expressed about as the function of temperature of pressure that is according to the phase rule. So, ito naman, that is at constant pressure. 
So, which is, ito yung enthalpy. So, the same rin ang process. So, since siya ay const isobaric process, so, nagsisiro siya. Cp, that is, heat capacity at constant pressure. So, kaya, itong ating last part na to ay magsisiro or you can cancel it. So, kaya ang mangyayari na lang is your change in enthalpy is equal to Cp dt. So, ito na yon So, nagbibehave siya as mechanically reversible isobaric process of gases. Kaya siya naging Cp dt. Yun yung delta H. So, since ito na yung ating pinaka topic, that is the temperature dependence of the heat capacity. So, ito na yon yung ating Cp at Cb is a function of temperature. So, sabi dito, ideal gas heat capacities increases smoothly with the increase in temperature. So, kaya hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na yung uh, Cp ng isang substance ay constant para dun sa temperature na yon. So, sabi nga dito, siya ay nag increase as the heat capacity increases. Halimbawa, from 0 degrees, so, that is 1. So, after niyang tumaas ng temperature, magtataas din ang heat capacity. It's either 2 or 3. So, depende yan. So, sabi ni downward and upper limit, which is reached when all types of molecular motion are fully excited. So, ito yung example na makikita natin as a temperature increases, the CP also increases. So, to measure the heat capacity at constant volume, experimental setup. So, nag-derive nag sila ng isang, uh, ito yung constant volume calorimeter. Although, hindi, hindi tayo makakapag-experiment para malaman natin yung uh, change of temperature para mag-guess natin ano ba yung CP niya ng isang. So, ginagamit ang experiment na to, yung constant volume calorimeter to determine what is the heat capacity of a certain substance. So, at heat, as heat is supplied, the molecules of A great, has greater motion and also the temperature increases. So, it's based from kinetic molecular theory. The heat is plotted as X and T. Uh, heat is Y and T is X as so we can define the specific heat of constant volume as the infinitesimal change of Q with respect to the change in temperature. So, ito pa rin yun. So, para makuha natin yung CP ng isang substance, so, nag-experiment sila at constant pressure naman. So, at constant pressure, so, hindi siya katulad ng isa na constant volume. So, ito yung CP, yung isa kanina ay CB. So, tinignan kung may epekto ba yung pag tumaas ang temperature ay yung CP ba ay tumataas din. So, ganun yung naging experiment nitong constant pressure calorimeter. So, the best ex experimental values of specific heat has been, have been found as a so consequence of the quantum theory. And that is called the spectrographic specific heat. If it is desired to distinguish them from those determined by calorimeter calorimeter test. The function CP as a function of T in are designed to fit such data with good accuracy for the temperature limits specified and for substance at low pressure, especially for ideal gas. So, for, for ideal gas heat capacity, so it is express, expressed by this equation. The CPIG, IG means that is ideal gas, CP over R is equal to A plus BT plus CT squared plus DT to the negative 2. So, ito na ngayon, uh, ilalagay natin siya into CP DT. So, ito na yun ang ating final equation. So, yung ating parameters ng ABCD ay makikita sa appendix C, table C, C, C.1 ng Vaness. So, pwede niyo siyang makita doon para at nandun yung mga values ng ABCD. So, meron din sa PERI. So, just browse it in PERI. So, the temperature dependence. So, ito yan. So, CB is equal to CP minus R. So, ito yung mangyayari. So, in ideal gas mixture. So, pag naman siya ay mixture. Halimbawa, meron tayong 2 to 3 
compounds in a certain uh, mixture or element, tatlong elements, isang mixture. So, para makuha natin yung kanyang specific heat or CP mix, so, kinukuha natin ang kanyang mole fraction. So, this is the mole fraction of uh, A, B, and C. So, ang mole fraction natin is, that is the mole of A over the total mole. So, kung naman si YB, that is the mole of B all over the total mole of the mixture. The same as C. So, makukuha natin yung kanyang heat capacity of mixture. So, example, the parameters listed in table C.1 require use of Kelvin temperature in equation 4.4. So, equation of, of the same form may also be developed for the for use with temperature in degree Celsius, run prime, and degree Fahrenheit. But the parameters values are different. So, the molar heat capacity of methane in the ideal gas state is given as a function of temperature in Kelvin. So, itong equation na ito ay naka-Kelvin. So, ang gagawin natin is to develop an equation where your CPIG over R is a function of temperature in degree Celsius. So, ang gagawin lang natin is ano ba yung conversion ng uh, Kelvin to Celsius. So, yun ang ating consider. So, this is the conversion where, you, where, where your Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273.15. So, ang gagawin lang natin ito is to substitute the value of time uh, temperature into the equation. This equation, the T. Then, after that, after substitution, so this is your final answer. So, that is your, this is in term of Celsius. So, for your exercises, so make, uh, find the, or develop an equation in terms of Fahrenheit and runtime. So, Fahrenheit.